Natalia Lizamer Holly, and I'm the curator and education director at the Tolerance Education Center. And we would like to welcome you to our new amazing exhibit, The Immigrant. Three different exhibitors, three different immigrants that came to the United States and chose to make this place home. Lucia Grossberger Morales, Marconi Calindas, and Juan Manuel Alonso. Very colorful, very beautiful. City, uh, work in the fashion industry, and now uh, for the longest I've been painting because it's the thing that really hits me very deep. Yeah, my inspiration is from is taken from Afro-Cuban mythology and the images of Paul Cola of Josephine Baker during the 20s and the whole period between 1890s to the 1930s. Is what really inspired. This painting, for example, is 17 people, and the important of it is that uh, the north is, is a black image, and the south is a white image, the east is a yellow, and the red is on the west. And the combination of all the four races that are represented by the, the brujula, I don't know how to say it, in the compass. And they're celebrating the fact that they do not speak evil of each other anymore. And that's why all their lips are in form of hearts. The jewelry, if it's to represent the sound where they are dancing to. And if you see the movement, it's due to that. And the 17 is because 17 is a very important number for me, since I was a child, my mother said that San Lazo, the saint that I have on my chain, will guard me for life. So that's what 17 is so important. And everything numbers, it's how I do. I don't like even, so that's why I do everything on odd numbers. And I take the time to even count to make sure that everything within the work is on an odd number. Seven, again, a very important number for everyone, the number seven. And the reason why there's seven, because it's, if representing seven of the rishas, which are images that were taken from the Catholic Church for the slaves in Cuba uh, to be able to worship their gods, because it was not allowed. So the seven are wearing masks, and on their mask are with jewels, the paths that they are to take in order to make it. And I mean to make it, for me, the bamboo forest is our world. And if we don't stay together, it will be a hard for, not only for humanity, but for a planet who will be there after. The, the reason why the, 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 the jewels, it's a map to their destination, which comes to X, like the old maps on the pirates. So it's very whimsical. They, they are crossing the bamboo forest and then the bamboo uh, tips that are growing is representing their ancestors who are there to make sure that they get to the destination together in oneness. I try to do with color and the percentage of each one to activate all the chakras on the body. Because subconsciously, when you look at something, the color is what tells you the emotions. And of course, the imagery that is done as well, but the colors are the importance. And for me, this painting, or all my work, is like a color bath for the observer. And it's, it's something that since I was a child, color has inspired me, incredibly me much. This one is, is called the Ebihe Twins. It's the two images, and the twins are a very important thing 
on the Afro-Cuban for, for the reason that they are the guard, the ones that keep the balance of the world, the forest. That's why the world is a forest, so these are the two that make sure it keeps ticking. And they are guarding to make sure that everything within our world stays on equilibrium without losing it to one side or to the other. And what's been happening is due to the fact that the majority of the people on our planet are not taking care of it and it's losing it. And that's what we see such as strains and hurricanes and the rains and the fires and everything is to me it's like a warning that these people are giving us to make sure that we go back to a balanced universe.